And God also teaches that the jinn and men are created just to serve God, just, just be servants of God. But there is a hidden, a hidden knowledge there. And those ones, those disbelievers are created in such a way that they will never have belief. Because God teaches in the Quran that even if they would like, even if the believers preach religion, teach religion, even if they want them to have faith, they will never have faith, because this is how they are created. Because God teaches that all those disbelievers, they will be entering into hell, and the ones who are destined to hell are known, are specified. They come from hell, and then they go back to hell. And this is how they will return, return back to hell again. When we just look beyond time, we can see that they come here, they come to this world from hell. And God is teaching that they are disbelievers, they are deniers. And they say that if they are to be sent back to the world, they will become believers. But God teaches that they will always be in disbelief, because their memories will be taken away, and they will come to this world with the same personality. So they will again be in denial. There will be no change. There is a description of a dead man. Those are zombies in this world. They are dead, actually, and people are not aware. And God teaches that you see that they look into your face, but they don't see. These are the Satans, actually. They are special creatures. Those Satans just walk through the human beings. They are just like robots. They just try to mislead people to, to deviation. For instance, they just go and attend schools in those schools, they find zombie Satans together with them. They try to distract their attention to degeneration. They make them speak with distorted words. They make them speak with arrogance. Or those Satans, those zombies, robot-like satanic creatures, they just try to approach young men, young women. They try to mislead them to all kinds of evil. For instance, they just attend a university course. There are four people. And there's a one, one zombie there, a Satan there. If those ones were aware, they would never come friends, make friends with those ones. But when they become friends with those zombie Satans, they learn how to be ruthless, how to be savage, how to have no fear of God, and how to act with all kinds of evil. And they are not aware. If they were to see that those men appearing to be like normal human beings were Satan, if they appeared like a veil, if that veil was removed and they would just were to face the Satan, they would be so much in fear. Sometimes they make in those movies, their, their mask is removed, some person's masks are removed, and when others realize that those are actually zombies, Satans. Angels recognize those ones, angels see those ones, that they are Satans, but man is not allowed to see that they are zombie Satans, because that would be causing so much fear in people. But in, in that trial setting, they seem attractive to people, they act in conflict, they say that, those zombie Satans, they say that, I just beat a person, and he says, I corrupted a person, or I spoke with such arrogance. This is how they speak, those zombie satans. When they speak those words, others are pleased of it. They speak of hatred, they speak of enmity, animosity. And this is how people are attracted to such zombie types, those satan-like human beings. And that is why people need to understand if a person is a zombie satan, or a normal human being. And in order to appreciate that, they need to understand the formula in the Quran, and God has shown us in the Quran, how we are to recognize those zombie Satans, how we are to diagnose those ones, because God has sent us to this world, we are sent in between the Satans, but God shows us how to protect ourselves. 
This is like a head-like environment, maybe, but God teaches us how to bring out heaven within that head-like appearance. 